you need to hear Martin's voice because I. Don't <laughs> anyway, so. Just want to hear, hear, hear Grant shake. So this is the uh, the moment of truth. This is where we open up the first bottle of the uh, simple joy from Appleton Estate. Um, if anyone's ever been to Jamaica, anyone been to Jamaica here? Yeah. One yeah. person. <laughs> One person. Campari. Lisa. Never. Here's a What's going on? Never. Your bond, your bond, your man. Your bond, your man. Even though, Whoa. even though, even though some of, some people think I'm, I'm actually born in Jamaica, I wasn't. I was actually born in London. But my mum, yeah, but my parents are Jamaican. They were born in Jamaica. And my mum used to say to me, Ian, inside this house in Jamaica, or there is England. So I felt I was born in Jamaica because everything in the house was rum related. There was rum everywhere in every room. Whether it's in the bathroom, whether it's in the kitchen, whether it's cooking with it, brushing your teeth, pouring on the floor to get rid of the duckies. Uh, everywhere, everywhere. So rum has always been part of my life. So when uh, Campari asked if I could uh, be involved with pouring uh, this amazing piece of history, I said, oh, yes, please. And here's my invoice. So, no. <laughs> I, no, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. But anyway. <laughs> but it will be coming. The invoice is lit. But, I mean, for me, uh, you guys, most of you guys I recognize are uh, industry people. So you don't need me to talk about Appleton because Appleton has been one of these rub the rums that basically set the ball rolling uh, globally when it came to the whole premiumization of the category. They were the ones that came out with, uh, remember, where is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, the, that's not signature, that's real. No, the, the, the beautiful Jamaican shaped bottle. It looked like an old Jamaican lady with the hips and the waist. Patterns it and it gets prettier the more you drink. You know, remember that? You know that? Yeah, yeah. That's so they were the first to actually do that with their five year old, which then became the VX, which then became now the signature blend. We've got the rare, which is a 12 year old blend of 20 different sizes of rums. Please have that in one of the cocktails because for me, it's still one of the pound for pound best rums in the world. And I, I very uh, thank you. I'm glad someone agrees with me. And I very really actually put my neck on the line to say what rum is the best rum because. As a lot of you know, my favorite rums are the one in my glass, the next one or a free one. So, so the, when I say the rare blend is a great rum, yeah, it's a, an amazing rum. But Appleton, as I said, is one of those rums or one of those companies that want to push the boundaries when it comes to premiumization of rums. And they've done some amazing rums. They're, they're, they're exclusive. If anyone goes to the Appleton distillery, you can get a, a beautiful 20-year-old rum from the, from the distillery that's exclusive just to the distillery. They were the first to do a 30-year-old and make it commercial, which was a rum that was from Jamaica and went to Scotland for a few years just to season some casts and came back to Jamaica uh, for another uh, few more of tropical aging. And it became a 30-year-old amazing rum, only 1,400 bottles. And then incredibly did the 50-year-old, a 50-year-old rum. I mean, most people, when they think of 50-year-old rums, they think they're going to be licking the bark of a tree uh, because the amount of wood inside there. And as a lot of people know, when it comes to the whole aging thing in the Caribbean, you're losing a lot through the angel share, but in Jamaica, we said doppy share. Yeah? Mm -hmm. the, dupp the duppies, the ghosts that take extra rum because they like rum better than whiskey. Uh, no offense to the Scottish people. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, no one, oh, I just realized no one from Scotland here. Everyone's, everyone's tourists. Look, Japan and... Denmark and England and where's our lady from St. Andrews? Yeah. I'll St. Andrews. Oh, that is in Scotland. Dundee. So, Dundee. Oh, that's not really Scotland, Dundee. I, I performed there. So, so yeah, so we all know in the tropics it's hot and the rum expands and evaporates and ages three times, at least three times faster in the Caribbean that doesn't cooler climates. So when you have a rum that's 50 years old, that's like 150 old whiskey. So you know you're going to be having a serious, serious rum when you drink that. But... This rum here is basically paying homage to, for me, uh, a lady that I call Auntie Joy. Um, I've known her for about 20, 24, 25 years. I worked with her, I worked with her predecessor who taught her, Owen Tullock, and they were the ones who guided me uh, to understand Appleton Jamaica rum back in the 90s. And when I, when I first met Joy, I was like, she was this boastful, boastful, young, back then, young uh, Jamaican lady that was just, uh, baffled my mind when it came to chemistry because I loved chemistry back then still love chemistry but again she was one of the best chemists I've ever seen but she was gonna be passed the torch from being the master blender or sorry by the senior blender to become the master blender in 1997 became the first female master blender in the spirits industry now I know ladies are saying to themselves well you know we're powerful we're the most powerful species on the planet and that's true you are 
That's true. Yeah, you are. That's, that's no bullshit. You are. But you have to wait 90 till 1997 before we had a female master blender in the spirits industry. And women have a better taste and a better palate. What's going on? You men are just owning everything. So, Jamaica were the first, like we are in everything, like when it comes to athletics. <laughs> <laughs> music. Of course. Yeah, music. Yeah, man. Could this be love? Anyway, so, um, yeah, so they, they were the first. They were the first to actually promote a lady to be the first master blender for their spirit company. So, so she's been in the industry. She's actually been in the industry for about 35 years. Uh, we celebrated the 35th year last year with another one of the legends of the world uh, from Wild Turkey. I thought I'd mention Wild Turkey because uh, our new Wild Turkey ambassador from Campari is here, yeah. Mr. Sam Kershaw. Yeah. I just brought that in there, keep me happy. Drinking rum, not Wild Turkey. Right. <laughs> so yeah, Eddie, her and Eddie Russell was going to celebrate their 35 years inside the industry. But but Joy, she has she has been a joy. Um, I, as I said, I, I love rum. I. I became the first ambassador for, for rum um, in the UK back in the 90s, and Appleton was the first company I ever worked with, so I, I have a, a, a big part of my heart for Appleton. So when they said they were gonna create and celebrate uh, Appleton and Joy and do a 25-year-old rum, I was like, please, I put my pre-orders in, and they just laughed at me, because I wanted know all of it. But it's about sharing, rum's about sharing. Rum is a spirit that, uh, when you look back in history, has always been about sharing. It was a new world spirit. It was a spirit that was created um, not because of uh, uh, the whole medicine and the, uh, the stuff that was happening in Europe. It was part of the new world. It was a, it was a spirit that was created for necessity as uh, such because people needed to drink and have fun. <laughs> and that's what rum was about. So for me, this epitomizes that. But this is 25 years old. It's a 25-year-old rum. Actually, rum's inside there up to 35. Because Joy has one of the best... Uh, well, she has at her disposal some of the oldest rums in the Caribbean to play around with, to create flavours. She has barrels that give her the vanilla notes that we like, the, the tropical wood or buttery notes, the fruits, that orange peel, that famous orange peel you get from Appleton Rums as well. She has all of that at her uh, disposal. So I'm hoping that when you guys try this rum, you pick out some of those notes and you pick up that Ag Appleton signature. And it's, for me, it's, I'd say it's about affordability. Because some people say, how much does this cost, Hampari? What, 250 quid a bottle? Yeah. yeah. 250 quid a bottle? Just no. Some people would say, oh, that's expensive. Yeah, well. I feel like someone like Pete Holland, this is cheap. <laughs> cheap. <laughs> cheap rum. <laughs> underpriced, underpriced as such. Uh, this will be a classic. I guarantee you buy a bottle of this and it will go up in value the following day. So buy two bottles. <laughs> one to drink, one for an investment as such. Um, but uh, after I get my put my case in for, for <laughs> my, my bidding for a case. But, but enough about me. You can't get a 30 year old now. I mean, look how that went. I've got two bottles of that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was only 1,400 bottles of that. You're free. All right, I'll buy one of you. <laughs> oh. So um, I actually got sent, I, I actually got sent a couple of samples of this rum a few weeks back to actually have a taste. And I said to myself, do I want to taste it now at home by myself? Or do I want to taste it for the first time in front of old and new friends here at Tells of the Cocktail for this dynamic deal with these two great bartenders and you great people. And I said, I'm going to taste it at home. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't find a, I couldn't find my sample. So I still haven't tried it yet. So, um, couldn't so find I'm any <laughs> <friends>. <laughs> oh. 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 There, goes, there goes Roger's sample. There goes Roger's free sample. <laughs> so, um, so this, this is going to be the first time for me as well. It's going to be the first time. This is I'm, I feel like a virgin. And, <laughs> Sorry, just stop that. Stop that. Where's Miss St. Andrews? How you doing? <laughs> right. So, um, uh, uh, I'm going to feel like a, feel like feel like a virgin when I try this rum because again, it's the first time I've, I've ever tried this rum. For a lot of people here, it'll be the first time they've ever tried the rum, and it's the first time that Appleton. Um, as a company have created uh, a blend of rums like this and there is no other Appleton rum that will taste like this um, and as I said Appleton are part of one of the, the forefronts of uh, in the forefront of uh, making super single blended or single blended state rums in the world so without further ado I wish Joy was here to pour this out I really... yeah? maybe she get Martin to come pour it because he's all the way from America now we work 
Yeah. So we're going to pour this out here. In fact, let me just pour a... Drums, please. I'm just going to pour a rare blend inside there, one of the glasses. So one of you are going to get a rare blend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> the best in the world. Ah, where's that glass gone? It's back on it. Oh, it's over there. Right, so, <laughs> right, here we go. So any questions on uh, Appleton Rum or are you just salivating and waiting to taste? I'll take a large one, please, yeah. You take a large one? Yeah, sure, no problem. How did Joy get into Rum? How did Joy get into Rum? You know, have you ever been to, do you know a university called Loughborough University? Yeah, yeah, sports so, university. Sports <laughs> university, yeah, exactly. But they also do a thing, they do a, uh, Things like her uh, sciences and that type of thing. Joy went to Loughborough University and she uh, still has the highest mark for chemistry inside it. No one's beating it yet. I think she got 96%. I keep cursing her out. Down to the other 4%. Um, so she got, into, she got into rums through her chemistry skills. When she went back to Jamaica, they were looking for um, uh, technicians to work at the distillery. So she applied for the job, got the job, and that's where she, she already drank rum and loved rums. But she actually then got taken in under the, under the wings by Owen Tullett, the previous master blender, who saw the potential inside her and groomed her to become the new master blender. So that's how she got into the whole master blending. But initially it was just through chemistry, just through chemistry and engineering. So uh, it was not by design, but it obviously worked really well for the company because uh, when you have someone who is as passionate as her, um, understands flavors and aromas, um, complexities of... Do you want uh, me to send it? No, not yet, not yet. Because no. okay. these guys will be drinking it before everyone else. Yeah, sure. Sorry, could someone count how many people we got in here? I've only got 21 glasses. It's only 25, it's 25 year old. <laughs> Do you know the pot column blend? The pot, pot column blend? Yeah. Do you know the mix? They haven't told us yet. Right. Are you going to tell us what pot column blend is? No. Secret recipe. <laughs> Always. Secret recipe. Hands up anyway. He knows what that is. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we join us even. <laughs> um, but that's something. Oh, you know what? But, no, but, but seriously, in front of you guys here, I will find out. If someone can, you know I will. I will find out exactly what the composition of the blend inside there. The, the level of pot inside it, the level of column, wherever it is, pot and column, you never know, it might be all pot. There'd be nothing to hide, because who could, who could counterfeit it? You can't, you can't recreate it, can Well, you? I do know a German guy from Finchland. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> no name calling. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 A few, uh, a few fake rums flying around recently. And, uh, <laughs> Ooh, is that my glass? Nice little fat glass there. I like a little fatness. Yeah. You know, Jimmy, I can't. Right, so, say that for me. So, got any, any more questions on Appleton rum? On the Joy rum? Or are you just waiting to try it? Is it all 25 years in Jamaica? Right, okay. So, it's all 25 in Jamaica. Minimum of 25, maximum of 35 inside there. And a great question by Roger, and I did plant that, but um, the significance of it all being aged in Jamaica is the fact that in Jamaica, uh, you are losing up to 6% of alcohol every year through evaporation. We're here in this beautiful, cold country of Scotland. <laughs> you guys losing on average about 2% of your whiskey. So this is aging three times faster in the tropical climates of Jamaica than you will in Scotland. So I'm not saying this is a 75 year old whiskey, but it has. That's what you said earlier. I did. I did. <laughs> but it has. It has. It has that that um that maturity of a seventy five year whiskey. So the minimum age is twenty five. Minimum age is twenty five. In Jamaica, by law, if you stick an eight cent in the bottle, that is the youngest inside the blend. You can't put. I mean, that's the thing is a lot of people say that there's no there's rums don't have no rules or regulations. There's no laws. And there are. It's just that in different countries have different regulations, different laws. But Jamaica have their regulation and laws. No additives, no sugar in there, there's no Solera blending, no average aging. Um, if you add any caramel, it'll be a touch of caramel for consistency of color. Um, but the minimum aging, the age statement will be the youngest on the bottle and not the oldest. So they echo, they echo what's for what happens here in Scotland for single malts. Can I be allowed from sort of years old for this place? 500 drums in it. Oh, right, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, uh, there you go, eight. there you go. Right, who's going to help me pour these out, pass these out? But please, fight, yeah. feel free, find the questions in, find the questions in. So if it's got joy written on the bottle, what's the, what's the minimum requirement then? That's a good question. That's a good question, I suppose. <laughs> minimum, joy has to uh, 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 actually give a blessing to the actual rum. Because <laughs> it might be made by Dave Morrison. <laughs> but Dave's only the senior blender, and he will take, he will take the baton uh, in the future. 
But Joy's the boss, so Joy gets her name on side. But you never know. They might have done it. Might have done it. Wait, we've we'll, we'll got Joy in it. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah. Make it. Imagine a run called David. Sorry. Doesn't have the same ring, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the same ring. He's got a better laugh though. He's got a good laugh. I am passing you as your friend. Who needs run? No one drinking yet. No drinking yet. Oh, don't drink it yet. Can I have another one? The revenue is going to the toilet because you're not talking. Joy. Because what we're going to do is send a video to Joy. You know what? Has anyone got a good phone? A good phone to do a video they can send me. I can send to Joy. Because I want to say thanks to Joy, thanks to Appleton, thanks to Jamaica. Kevin, who are you comparing? It's my day off, it's Monday. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Always take a Monday off. Roger's trying to look at the legs and the colour and looking at that green hue on his glass, but he doesn't realise it's dark inside here, so I'm not going to see much. <laughs> but I, I appreciate it. So, guys, guys, you still have your glass? Where's Johnny? Johnny's working. So guys, I make sure you pan across. Joy, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Joy, Miss Spence, thank you very much for making this amazing rum. Well, I say amazing, I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I know it's going to be amazing because of your past record. But the guys in Scotland, the guys at, where are we? Last Saloon? Last Words. Last Words. Last Words Saloon. Last Words Saloon, they say thank you. They say, yeah, man. And they say respect. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And everyone said cheers. Cheers! Right, now I need some tasting notes. Awesome. I wasn't going to do the whole uh, how to appreciate and understand rum for you guys. Awesome. No, I said that. Awesome. You know how I go about it. No, I was in rum. Yeah. But, but remember, when we, when, when we, if you do decide to come out and say, oh, it smells like this, it tastes like this, there's nothing wrong if you come out of a, 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 an aroma or a flavor that the other people might think is strange. because. It's all subject to the individual person. Because I did a tasting for some bartenders down in Brighton recently, and the first bartender knows the rum, and he was like, wow, this actually smells like my girlfriend's aftershave. And, and I was like, yeah, yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that, is when the next bartender said, you're right, it doesn't smell like your girlfriend's aftershave. And they started fighting because they didn't realize they were speaking to the same person, and things like that. But what it was, was those two bartenders smelt something in the rum, that they could identify with, and everyone else couldn't. So if anyone smells green apples, or orange peel, or vanilla, chocolate, or cacao, woody notes, that's all great, that's all great. Because it's all subjective. What's the ABV on there? ABV, I think it's 45. 45, right? 45. 45. For, for Martin Cates, that's 90 proof. Because Martin's American. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Cates. Got, Martin Cates. Is how, the do you do that, how do you do that math? Is that wait, <laughs> right, time oh, two, time two. Time two. Oh wow! So I got all of the maths. All of the maths. So, so Martin Cates. If you don't know who he is, Martin Cates is the owner of, of the best of the voted best bar in America at Tales of the Cocktail last year. Smuggler's Cove, also the best rum bar in America, and probably one of the best rum bars in the world. So give Martin Cates a big hand for actually shining all the way from America to here. Good to be here. See, that's how good the rum is. It is. Away from America. Yeah, exactly. We're here right now. He's not going to have any So guys, what's your opinion? What's your opinion? I'm seeing lots of nodding heads here. Orgasmic? That's what I like. Good quote. Can we use that as a comparison? Can we use that as an official quote? Definitely not shit. Can we use that as like a taste in them? Definitely not shit. I get a lot of uh, alcohol coming up from Michigan because I'm just sticking my nose in where I should be. I should be like... Just taking the top notes like this first. Nice and spicy on the bottom. Yeah. And then, <laughs> oh God. Oh. That's that. That's a sipper. I mean, we're getting everything there. We're getting we're getting nice bats of woods. It's dangerous. And you know what's really scary? I have I have certain rums I put in my own crazy categories, like dessert rums and things like that. But I have a, a category I call session rums. And a session rum is a rum you can finish in a session. You and a couple of friends, you can finish that bottle. This is a session rum, but it's too expensive to be a session rum at 250 quid a bottle. You want to bring it out just for your friends and say, yeah, have a little sip and then just going back in the cabinet. The next but yeah, that could go in. You bring it out. Do you want it? 
This yeah, is the bottle. Yeah, open that. Here's a bottle. Here's a bottle. Here's a bottle. Let's do 12. Let's do red blend. Let's do red blend. This is a session rum. This could be... You could finish your rock in the arms. What do you think, Mr. Japan? I'll give you that. It's okay? Excellent. Uh, watch cast. Um, well, traditionally, um, Appleton had deals and have deals with Jack Daniels. There's a lot of the cast of Jack Daniels. Now, as this is a 25 year old, let's just say, imagine it was bottled yesterday. Yeah. So that would have been what, 1992? 1992 would have been when the rums were. So these rums would have gone in before 1992. It would have been like 1980s, 1970s. They would have had some deals with Jack Daniels. They would have been some, some other smaller American open cast as well. So um, Appleton, fortunately, had one of the only signatures in the whole drum in the Caribbean. So today's drum, like five years ago, we've been subject to some of the fire. We get a nice balance of wood and sweetness and spice as well. If anybody wants another little splash. Anyone want a little splash that didn't believe the first? Anyone need a wee top off? Anyone need a wee top off? Don't move so quick. Who's oh, saying bolt like? I know! <laughs> You'll never know. It's 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 it was opened in Scotland, well, they'll be finished in There'll be a lot of people that disagree with you in Central America. I don't care, it's not real rough. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's how you're getting ready to be a Richard Seal pill. I was in Antigua. Yeah. On an English arm, Mr. Jeffrey here, owner of uh, Border Dash in the. Uh, oh, you have to get that. You have to get that. Keep it going, keep it going. Are you a set? Oh, that's fair enough. Oh, this is an American bottle. It was five years ago. 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 For the beauty of it. So I'm waiting for the first person to. Uh... So I'm waiting for the first person to ask for a joint coat. Joint coat. No, <laughs> I've got a couple of lines over it. I'll probably get sacked. I'm going to get to work on Friday again if I do that. Julie will be over there like, Ian, yeah, you'll never work in person again. Enjoy your brew. Enjoy your brew. A Jew 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 brew. Even better. <laughs> That. It reminds me. It reminds me of a story with uh, my granddad. My granddad loved Appleton and uh, he's into old aging um, rums. In fact, aging rums were, were for him, real rum is white rum, old uh, white rum, unaged, great nephew. That's real rum because aging stuff is for foreigners. That's what my granddad was doing. <laughs> but he was given by Appleton a very special edition rum like this, but there's only 12 bottles of this particular rum. And uh, so one day he's at home playing dominoes with his mates and uh, they're, drinking, they're drinking rums, normal rums and that type of stuff and they ran out of ting as well. So he went down to the shops to get some ting and his friends are waiting for him and like, why, why, I'm too, why is it taking so long to get the rum, man? And so anyway, so he looked inside the cabinet and he found one of these limited edition Appleton bottles of rum in his cabinet. And, he was, and they were like, yeah, let's drink that until he comes back. So he grabbed it. it. That was actually a 20-year-old rum as well, but it was a special edition Appleton bottle. It was made in the same Jamaican lady-looking type shape as all the others as well, with the hips and the waist as such. So they grabbed that, poured it out, and they took a sip. Oh, it was a bit too woody for them. Because a lot of Jamaicans, as Roger can testify, like white rum. Unaged, strong, no angel shit. Waste of time. Give them some of the angels. So they said, we need to cut it. And as they looked inside the cabinet, they found a can of Pepsi. So uh, they got the Pepsi and poured it inside the, the 20 year old rum. Oh, God. And it was only 20 of these bottles ever made. It was a special edition. So they, they cut it and they said, Oh, it tastes better. I drank that. So my granddad came home and saw these guys drinking that limited edition Appleton 20 year old rum. Um, and he did what any Jamaican I know would have done in that situation. So he got his gun and started shooting at them. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in court the next day. And the judge said, Mr. Morell, why did you shoot after your friends? And he said, well, Judge, they were drinking my limited edition, Appleton, 20-year-old, and then just broke my heart, man, they broke my heart. He said, no, Mr. Burrell, there's no reason to be shooting after your friends. Why did you shoot after your friends? Judge, 
there's only one, two, three, four. You count all the way to 19 because there's now only 19 of these bottles left because there was 20. And the judge said, calm down, Mr. Burrell. I love rum. Rum loves me. Why did you shoot after your friends? Judge, they were drinking it with Pepsi. <laughs> Mr. Burrell, you are free to go. <laughs> <laughs> Bring those other three retrogrades in front of me. What he should have said, what he should have said is, how much are you going to kill? How much are you going to kill? How much are you going to make it? <laughs> so if you do want to mix Joy with uh, Coca-Cola, please do. <laughs> we have very expensive uh, rum and coke or tea or iron root as such. We don't mind as uh, drinkers. Joy might like to be better, but don't, don't, don't post it online as such. But if you do that, it means you have to buy more, which means, how many bottles have, how many bottles have we allocated for the UK? You, you what? 200? Is that 100? it? Jeez. Yeah, only, sorry, 199 bottles left. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, there's only two bottles in the UK. There's only two in the matter at the moment. Where's the other one? In Roger's house. <laughs> My oh, your house. <laughs> Where's your husband again? <laughs> right, so, uh, so yes, yeah, so um, as I said, you are some of the first people in the world to actually try this flick of rum. I do hope that you enjoy it. Uh, post it on social media, tell everyone you sipped it, you tasted it, tell everyone you was here at, where were you again? Tell everyone you were at, tell everyone you were at the last word, hashtag last word, they've got a uh, chartreuse on tap, not true, but, uh, but there you go, oh sorry, we're at the, uh, we're at the last word, uh, we're, at the last, we're, at, we're at the last word, hashtag last word, ladies from Manchester, you okay? Did you get a drink? I know in Manchester you guys like to drink. Neither of us are actually from Manchester, so... Where? Sorry? Sounds like it. You've got an American accent. That sounds like an American accent. No, Australian. Oh, wow, even better. Right, so, uh, we're going to hang out with those girls in a bit. <laughs> Australia, Manchester. Yeah, no, in St. Andrew. Right, so... Um, <laughs> Don't forget your shirt. <laughs> inside joke, inside joke. Inside joke. <laughs> Bring it back. Anyway, so. <laughs> oh, don't let me go back to Denmark. So, uh, so guys, uh, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. Please drink some of these amazing cocktails uh, that uh, these guys, Stuart and Grant, <laughs> here, here at the ball of the ball, I'm just saying, you know, just like, fuck it, who cares now, right? So Stuart and Grant are gonna make you some. Uh... <laughs> Johnny Stewart. Oh, Johnny Stewart. Yeah, Johnny. Ah, oh, that's easy to remember. He's the player from Manchester United. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so Johnny and Stuart are gonna make you some amazing cocktails. <laughs> you got some great music. Uh, I hope they got some great music. I want to hear some reggae. Yeah, yeah, play some reggae, man. Play some reggae. It's another party. This is coming over with me. So you guys, I hope you got your your rum because you're no, getting no more. But if you want to drink a, a rum that's bang for your buck, Appleton Rare Blend. <laughs> 12 year old, 36 year old of maturity, if you're Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Forget this. Drink, drink after Rivlin. Well, thank you guys, and uh, let's have a great tell yeah. of On Tour. Right, DJ.